long ago, the kingdom of Sodor had five trucks that were very troublesome. Their names were Dread, Fungus, Brick, Junk, and Wreck. And then there were five trucks that were friendly, kind, and helpful. Their names were Harry, Wallace, Wally, Mario, and Sonic. The bad trucks had taken a dislike to Thomas and Frankie, and with the help of some magic gold dust, they were able to move on their own and try to do away with them. Thomas and Frankie ended up falling into a river after being pursued. Harry and the good trucks had managed to save Thomas, as well as destroy Fungus, Junk, and Wreck. Dread and Brick were sent away. Frankie, however, had never been found by the Sodor engines. And shortly after the victory, Harry and his friends were purchased by the king and queen of another kingdom. They left the kingdom, and Thomas forgot all about them growing up, as well as Frankie. The other engines of Sodor, as well as the other kingdom, hoped they would see the good trucks again one day. Here we are, said King Connor. Welcome, Harry and Harry's friends, to your new home. Huh? What? Oh, uh, looks nice, I guess. We'll take you to the shed, said Queen Caitlin. Shed? said Wally. Here's your shed. Said Connor. Wait, wait, wait. We get our own shed? Said Wallace. Yes, won't that be nice? Said Caitlin. Well, yeah, said Wallace. Great, said Caitlin. Well, we'll leave you guys in here for the day. Sid here will get you into your berths. Me and Connor have to go get some supplies for work tomorrow. So, Sid pushed the truck into the berth of the shed. As soon as he left, the truck started talking away like crazy. We never had a shed on Sodor. Well, that's one thing to like about our new home. I'm homesick. Why did Connor and Caitlin have to take us away from our friends? I don't know, but... I mean, could they at least have waited until Thomas was repaired so we could say goodbye? I wish we could have found Frankie before we left. I'm sure she's alright. What if I don't like it here? I'm homesick, and I'm still feeling a little uneasy, knowing that Dread and Brick are still out there. Did I mention I was homesick? Yes! Guys, please, let me speak. Now, I know we want to go back to Sodor, but we can't. For one thing, we don't have gold dust to help us move. And second, there's probably a reason why we were brought here. We should just wait and see what happens. The next morning, the good trucks woke up to the sound of a whistle. There, on the turntable, was a catalyst engine. Rise and shine, trucks. I'm Samson, and I'm here to take you to work. Well, nice to meet you, Samson. I'm... Oh, I know your names, said Samson. From left to right, your names are Dirty, Hedgehog, Gromit, Luigi, and How. Um, how can I say this without sounding... You're not even close! Sorry. My mistake. 
So Samson took the good trucks to a large factory where Connor and Caitlin were waiting. Okay trucks, you may be thinking that there's a reason why we purchased you. Well, here's the reason. We heard about you guys saving Thomas and defeating Dredd, and we think there should be more trucks like you. This factory builds rolling stock and engines, and we would like you five to teach the new trucks to be friendly and kind like you guys. The trucks were silent for a moment. That's actually a very good idea, said Harry. I agree, said Sonic. Excellent, said Caitlin. I knew you trucks wouldn't let us down. Just then, a rattling sound could be heard. What's that? asked Wallace. Oh, that's Rattle, said Caitlin. His sight rods rattle a lot. Rattle pulled out the factory with a tanker and a stone truck. Oh look, said Connor, your first students, I guess. Hello there. Ah! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Okay, you two, said Connor. I'll call you two Scaredy and Carl. Why am I being named Carl? What is this place? Who are you guys? Oh yeah, and before I forget, I know Proteus took away the gold dust from Sodor knowing it was dangerous if bad trucks got a hold of it, but there's no bad trucks here so it should be okay, and we've got a good supply of gold dust for you trucks to use. It should help when you're teaching these trucks to be helpful, said Caitlin. Alright then, said Wally. Welcome, Scaredy and Carl. I'm Wally, and this is Harry, Mario, Wallace, and Sonic. Nice to meet you! Why is that truck so loud? asked Carl. And why is that truck sleeping when it's daytime? So the trucks began their new career. Let's pretend I'm an engine. A diesel engine to be exact. I've just broken down. What do you do? Scream mommy! If I'm an engine and I've come off the rails, what would you do? Well, I've got two different ideas. Do I try to help you myself or find someone else who can help? Well, either one works. It would be best if you try to help me yourself first. It also depends on the situation. If I was derailed in a field, it wouldn't be as urgent. But if I was derailed near a cliff, that would be an emergency. Okay, I got it. Okay, if I've run out of fuel, what should you do other than scream mommy? Scream daddy! Anyone want to trade? If an engine is pulling you and is maybe having trouble getting up a hill, that's the time to use your gold dust. How does the gold dust work? Soon, two new trucks rolled out of the factory. I'll call you guys Nicholas and Hector. Well, of course you would call me Hector. That's what it says on my site. Where's Nicholas's face? Asked Wallace. I'm back here. Oh. If I'm stuck on a collapsing bridge, I try to get you off. What? I, I didn't say anything. Yes, you did. That would be what you should do. But I don't want to be brave. Who doesn't want to be brave? I don't know what it feels like. Take my word for it. It's a good feeling. Okay. Snoring. 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 Um, Mario, 
Not to be rude or anything, but you're supposed to be teaching me. Plus, who says snoring when they're snoring? Soon, two more trucks were completed. My word, said Wally. They look like tenders. I want to be called Rico, and I want to be named Riot. So many trucks coming out of the factory. We're still trying to teach these trucks. These will be the last couple of trucks we make for a while, said Rattle. Still, we're kind of getting overwhelmed, said Wally. We could help by teaching what we already know, said Nicholas. That would be helpful, said Wallace. A few weeks passed, and soon the new trucks were taught everything there was to know about being kind, friendly, and helpful. Oh, you go first. Thanks. Thanks. A couple more trucks were soon made, including a box car with an arched face and a tanker that always had his tongue sticking out. There were also two twin sleigh trucks. They were brother and sister. I'm Danny. I'm Danielle. I'm Chester. I'm Archie. <laughs> that sounds fitting. After Archie, the engines took a break from making new trucks. The 15 trucks began helping with the work after that. They were shunting trains for the other engines. They helped an engine in case they ran out of water or coal or fuel. And they even began pulling trains. Harry was actually enjoying himself. Though he tried his best not to forget about his Sodor friends. Before the trucks knew it, snow came down and Christmas was just around the corner. Hey guys, stick out your tongue and catch snowflakes. It's fun. What do you think of the tree, Danielle? Hmm, needs more ornaments in the back, but we haven't decorated it yet. I know, I'm just saying it should have more ornaments in the back when we do decorate it. That way I can see more ornaments from my spot in the shed. Harry? You okay? Huh? Yeah, it's just, well, I wish Thomas was here. Thomas? Who's Thomas? Thomas was a tank engine from the Kingdom of Sodor. Was? You mean he's dead? What? No, no. He's still alive. We left Sodor before we could say goodbye to him. Well, that's sad. Yeah, it is. All I can do is hope he's being a really useful engine. Christmas Day soon arrived, and all the trucks enjoyed spending the day together telling stories. No one knew that two diesels were watching from nearby. Look at that, Dominic. All the good trucks are celebrating Christmas together. They're like a family. Too bad Dredd doesn't have all of his friends with him to celebrate Christmas. But he's got us, said Dominic. Yeah, but I meant his truck friends. It's only him and Brick now. Well, he still has us, said Dominic and we can help him find new friends that will obey his every command. Enjoy your next couple of days, trucks, said Spankhand, because you will be gone before the year is up. Come on, let's go see the others, said Dominic.
Tis the season to be devious, chuckled Span Can. Okay, it's been two months. How is it that we haven't tried to eliminate the trucks yet? Well, we've been looking for new truck henchmen for Dread. That was a rhetorical question. Well, how was I supposed to know that? Hey, don't start you two, said Brick. Okay, roll call, says Pancan. Bowler, here. Oli, Dominic, Hunter, Shunter, and Pride, here. And Trucks, Dread, here. Brick, here. Steel Tooth, here. Wrench, here. Bolt, here. Sinister, here. Okay, I think that's everyone. Don't forget me. Don't forget the diesel that rescued all of you when you were derailed and rushing down the river. Griffin, where were you? Asked Bankman. Stealing gold dust trucks. How else are Dren and his friends going to move? Okay, are we ready to do this? I was built ready, said Dredd. Your time is coming to an end, good trucks. And our time is now. It was the beginning of February, and an early spring was on its way. All the snow was melting away, and the rivers were rising. Only the Great Wall, known as a dam, was stopping the water from overflowing. All the engines had their own work to do. So Harry gave Wally, Carl, Danny, and Danielle the task of bringing stone to the dam. And Wallace, said Harry, you are to deliver parts to the area where a new turntable bridge is being built. You got it, Harry, said Wallace. After Harry had left, Wally, Carl, and the slate trucks filled up with stone. Okay, Wally, I'll catch you later, said Wallace. Wallace went to pick up the supplies needed for the turntable bridge. But when he came back, he was surprised to see Wally still sitting in the same spot. 24, 25, 26, 27, 40, ready or not, here I come. What are you doing, asked Wallace. Hide and seek. What does it look like I'm doing? You're supposed to be taking stone to the dam before it bursts. I've got time. I promised I would play hide and seek with Carl and the slate cars. Well, I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to do that after you deliver the stone. Well, I gotta find them before we can all deliver the stone. Alright, fine. But be quick about it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Wallace rolled away to fetch a flatbed to carry the rest of the parts. Wally, however, was taking his time finding Carl and the slate cars. At last, he heard some giggling behind some bushes. He'll never find us here. Quiet, he might hear you. Aha! Uh -huh. You found us. I did. And now we can all look for Carl. You ready? Danny and Danielle nodded. The three trucks went under a tall crane. If they had looked up, they would have seen Carl hanging from the hook. Perhaps this wasn't such a good idea. I mean, who knows if they'll be able to find me up here. I could be stuck up here for who knows how long. Then there was trouble. Target sighted, said Dread. 
Oli, Dominic, move into position. Come on, said Oli. Maybe if I get onto this bridge here, I can get a better look. Wally! Well, if it isn't my old enemy, Dread, I haven't seen you since we kicked your backside. Here to have it kicked again? If anyone's backside is getting kicked, it's yours. Get him. Bring it on. What was that? Ah, Wally. Come back here, squirts. No, leave them alone. Wally tried to chase after them, but the diesels blocked his path. I got you. Whoa, oh, ow. Oh, no, 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 oh. Oli and Dominic chase Danny and Danielle towards the turntable bridge. Almost got you. No, ah. Ah. Dread ramped Wally and the slate cars down the line and into the hole where the turntable was supposed to go. <gasps> ha 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 ha. Ow, my chassis. Wally and the slate cars had landed on some rocks in the river that went under the turntable bridge. They were stuck. I'll get you for this, Dread, said Wally. You ain't gonna get nobody, Wally. You're stuck down there, and there's no one around to help you. Now we can go find the other trucks and attack them, said Wrench. No need to, said Dread. Thanks to these three losers, the other trucks are doomed. I don't get it, said Bolt. You don't, said Dread. Okay, you see that dam over there? It's on the verge of breaking. And these three trucks were supposed to take stone to it, but now they can't. When the dam breaks, the other trucks are done for. Maniacal laugh, ha ha ha, maniacal laugh, ha ha ha. I've got to get down and get help. Come on. Let go of me. Whoa, ow. Luckily, Carl's wheels made it onto the tracks. The villains didn't see or hear him, and Carl rushed away as fast as his wheels could carry him. Bother those faulty points, sending me down the wrong line away from the turntable bridge. Now I'm going to be... Look out, Wallace! Whoa! Oh no, icy rails. Oh no, icy rails! The two trucks stopped just in time. Phew! Carl, what are you? Dread and some diesels attacked Wally, Danny, and Danielle. They're stuck in the hole at the turntable bridge. What? Oh no, they'll be stuck in the river, and without the stone, the dam will burst and the whole kingdom will flood. We have to get help. Right, follow me. And the two friends quickly sped away. Dread, shouldn't we be getting out of here? I don't want to be anywhere near here when the dam breaks. I'm not going to miss the show. If I should be washed away, at least I'll die knowing that I've destroyed the good trucks. 
Guys, 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 it was. What, what, what? Wally, Wally, Wally. Yes, yes, yes. Is there anything to then? I will fit Wallace. Wally was supposed to be delivering the stone, but he wanted to play hide and seek with Danny, Danielle, and Carl, and Dread attacked them, and they're stuck in the hole at the turntable bridge, and the dam is on the verge of breaking. Here's what I heard. Blah, blah, blah. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Breaking. We have to rescue them, said Harry. Red alert, said Hector. Wally and the slave trucks are in danger. Let's move, move, move. Back at the turntable bridge, cracks were forming in the dam, and water was starting to squirt out. The river was slowly beginning to rise. Ugh, something cold is touching my wheels. It's just water. Nothing to worry about. I'm not worried, as long as we're with you, said Danielle. But Wally was really, really nervous. And he was running out of hope. Dread, said Brick, could we at least stand by the dam so we're not in the way when it bursts? For the last time, no one is going anywhere. Just stay put and keep quiet. Yeah, stay put so we can pound you, came a voice. What? Who said that? said Dread. Uh oh, said Sinister. What? Who's back there? I can't see, said Bolt. Well, look who decided to show up, said Dread. Boys, forget what I said about staying put. Stay put, move around, make up your mind, Dread, said Steel Tooth. Alright, trucks and diesels on those four tracks. Attack them, the rest of us will try to find a way to the other side so we can help. I'm going to enjoy this. Ha ha ha. Coming through. Ow! Oh! Ha! You didn't derail me. Hi! Ah! Oh! Ow! Ready, Bolt? Charge! Harry, look out! cried Scaredy. Whoa! Whoa! cried Harry. Yikes! Oh no! Bolt! Pull me back! Pull me back! I'm trying, said Bolt. Spank and Bowler, said Dread. Block the points. But Spank and Bowler went too fast and hit each other on the points. Nicholas, behind you, said Carl. I got this, said Nicholas. Ow! 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 That's how I roll. Ow! That's it, Sinister, said Dread. Pin him. Get off him, said Wallace. Ow! Okay, now I'm mad, said Dread. I'm coming, Wally, said Harry. Oh, no, you don't, said Dread. Ha! Big mistake, Dread, said Harry. Ow, my head. Ow, my backside. Wally, Danny, Danielle, said Mario. Are you guys all right? We're fine, for now, said Wally from down in the deep hole. Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Somehow, said Mario. What should we do, asked Wallace. Hmm, I may have an idea, said Riot. I can tell what it is, said Rico. It may not be good, though. What is it, asked Carl. <laughs> Guys, this is crazy, said Scaredy. 
using ourselves as a rope to grab Wally and the sleigh cars, we're all gonna fall in. We have to try, said Rico. It's the only way, said Riot. Don't let go, Hector, said Archie. Oh, don't worry. I won't, said Hector. Oh, I don't like this, said Scaredy. A little lower, said Wally. I got you, said Danny. Okay, Hector. Hold, said Chester. Whoa, said Danny. Going up, said Danielle. Okay, that's two down, one to go, said Wallace. Danny and Danielle watched as the other trucks got ready to try to rescue Wally. Oh! I must not suffer defeat. With all his might, Dredd shook himself, rocked himself, and was able to turn right side up. He then charged towards the trucks. Easy does it now, said Riot. Ow! Wah! Ouch! Oh, great. No! Ah! Ow! How dare you take that! Ah! Dread flew off the edge and smashed into one of the supports. The track came down and landed near Wally's back wheels. Wally, scaredy, first up that line, said Harry. Wally's chassis was damaged, but he managed to couple up to scaredy and reversed up the rails. It was very steep and Wally's wheels were red and wobbly. But with a lot of determination, Wally pulled scaredy to safety. We're safe, said Scaredy, but then, one of Wally's wheels broke off and Wally tipped over and took Scaredy with him. Wally, cried Carl. Don't worry about me, said Wally. You need to get some stone to the dam before it bursts. Luckily, there were some extra stone cars nearby. Sonic, Mario, and Hector coupled up to them and raced away towards the dam. Harry and the others started to fend off the remaining diesels and trucks. Hector, Sonic, and Mario made it just in time. The stone was quickly applied and the water stopped leaking. Now that's what I call a close call, said Mario. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> hey, wait for us. Wait for us! Run away, run away, run away! You win this time, good trucks. Next time won't be so easy. After the villains left, Harry turned his attention to Wally. So if you had just left with your stone and not played hide and seek, then you wouldn't have been attacked and the dam wouldn't have nearly burst. I'm sorry Harry, I'm sorry everyone, said Wally. We're sorry too, said Danny and Danielle. I suppose I should apologize too, said Carl. I think you four should go back to the shed, said Harry. You're not being punished, but you've had a long and rough day. I don't think Wally can move, said Hector. Look at the damage done to his chassis. I could carry him on that flatbed, said Carl. Thank you, Carl, said Harry. So Carl, Wally, and the sleigh cars went back to the shed. The next day, Wally and the other trucks that had been damaged in the fight were repaired.
Hey Wally, said Daniel. Let's have a race. Not right now, Daniel. I've got work to do. Okay, just testing. Wait, you were testing me? Yeah, just to make sure you learned your lesson. I did. Did you? Well, of course I did, said Daniel. I learned my lesson too, said Carl. Same here, said Danny. Alright, said Wally. Our job today is to deliver ballast to the tracks around the turntable bridge. We're going to do our work without fuss and no playtime until we know we have nothing important to do. So the good trucks worked hard all morning and into the afternoon. By sunset, the turntable bridge was finally finished and the trucks were pleased with their hard work. Five years had passed, and the trucks were still at the mainland kingdom. No new trucks or engines had been made in the last five years, but everyone was doing so well that they didn't need any extra help. One day, Connor gave the trucks a very important and dangerous job. Listen up, said Harry. We're going to be delivering munitions and explosives to an old harbor. Oh my, said Chester, that's quite a dangerous job. We must all take extra care handling those explosives, said Mario. So the trucks went to the munitions factory to collect the explosives. They were a little bit nervous, but they knew the job had to be done. A few minutes later, all the trucks, except Harry and Nicholas, each had a freight car loaded with explosives. Go slow and steady, said Harry. Nicholas and I will take the lead and alert other engines that you're passing through with your dangerous loads. And the trucks set off. It was a long journey to the old harbor. But the trucks made it there safe and sound. But they soon had a problem. I say, said Rico, we can't unload these munitions with that fuel laying there. Munitions and fuel do not mix, said Riot. I'll move it, said Harry. Harry moved the fuel into a signing out of the way. Then the trucks got to work. Soon they were nearly done, but the trucks were still caught up in their work that they didn't see three diesels nearby. One of them was wearing a wizard hat. I can't believe my plan to take over the other kingdom and eliminate the steamies failed. It was foolproof, and now I've been banished from the other kingdom. Maybe I had the wrong allies. Was it the trucks? Or was it you guys? Ugh, I'm so angry right now, I could just bump a truck. Diesel saw a barrel car in front of him, and without thinking, he bumped it very hard. It went soaring around the bend, off the rails, and into some crates. In no time, a small fire was beginning on the side of the track. Okay, we should go, said Diesel. And he, Baron, and Jetson raced away as fast as they could. What was that? asked Carl. Fire, cried Scaredy. Yikes, cried Sonic. 
Everyone, clear the area, said Harry. Just then, there was an explosion, and a burning piece of debris flew into the air and landed on the flatbed coupled to the fuel tanker. Uh-oh, the fuel's on fire, said Wallace. It's not on fire yet, said Harry. I just need to get it away from here before it explodes. Harry tried to couple up to the flatbed, but he saw that it had a rusty coupling. If he tried to pull it, the coupling could break. I guess I'll just have to push it away, said Harry. He bravely buffered up behind the flatbed and pushed it and the fuel tanker away. No, Harry, don't do it, said Mario. It's too dangerous. Come on, guys, said Wally. Let's get out of here before we all get blown to bits. But as the trucks headed for the exit, all of them except Scaredy and Wally came to a stop. They had run out of gold dust. Well, that's just great, said Scaredy. They're too heavy for just the two of us to pull, said Wally. Scaredy, you need to go get more gold dust. There's a couple of trucks just a few miles down the line. I'll get the hose car and the waterwork cars and start fighting the fire. The fire's starting to spread past the harbor, said Scaredy. Well, then you better hurry and get the gold dust so everyone can get out of here. Come on, Scaredy. Let's be brave. I might not enjoy this, said Scaredy, and Scaredy and Wally rushed away as fast as they could. Scaredy found the gold dust cars and coupled up to them. Wally found the host car and quickly took it and the waterworks cars to the fire. Scaredy was nearly to the harbor when he saw that flames had gotten onto the track. There was no other way to go, so Scaredy shut his eyes and sped through the flames. Come on, Wally, where are you? cried Hector. Just then, Scaredy rushed in. He quickly gave gold dust to the trucks. And two by two, they quickly exited the harbor. Wally arrived and began spraying water before he even came to a stop. By now, some of the steam engines had seen the smoke, and they quickly rushed over to assist in fighting the fire. That's it. We're winning, said Wallace. Where's Harry, said Caitlin. He had to take a fuel tanker away from the fire, said Carl. Need I mention the flatbed coupled to the tanker was on fire? What? said Gator. He said he would be fine, said Riot. No he didn't, said Rico. Harry had made his way to a bridge near a tall tower. The flames on the flatbed were starting to touch the tanker. It began to smoke. Harry realized he needed to back away. He was right at the edge of the hill. He shoved the tanker down the slope. He began to reverse but didn't know that the points behind him were faulty. He switched on to a different line, which took him around a bend and over the track that the fuel tanker was on. The tanker had stopped right under the bridge. Boom! The tanker exploded and Harry was thrown from the bridge. And he came crashing down in the field. He tumbled end over end and hit the supports of the tall tower. The tower wobbled and shook. Then it came crashing down on Harry. The debris spread to the flames of the fuel tanker and it quickly caught fire and began to spread. The 
the trucks were sitting in the ruins of the harbor, they were feeling very miserable. Just then, Samson popped in with a goods train. Hey guys, he said, just wanted to see if you guys were feeling better. Never better, said Danny crossly. I think he meant to say we're never going to be better, said Archie. Samson sighed, tooted his whistle, and puffed away. Right after he left, a big red tenor engine puffed into the harbor with a paper dragon in tow. Oh bother, he said. I knew I shouldn't have gone home a different way. Now I'm completely lost. The trucks finally turned their attention to the stranger. Chester managed to smile. Hello, big red engine, he said. Is there a problem? Oh yes, I'm afraid there is. My name's Yong Bao. I'm on my way back to China after making a visit to Sodor. But I made the big mistake of going home a different way, and now I'm lost. Well, maybe we could help, said Wallace. And he rolled over to Yang Bao. Wait, you can move? Well, uh, yeah. You see, we use this magical gold dust, and... Hey, I know who you are, said Yang Bao. You're the good trucks. I've heard stories about you from my friends in China. This made the truck smile. Where's your leader, Harry? I've always wanted to meet him. The truck's smiles faded rapidly. I hate to break it to you, chum, said Carl, but Harry died in a munitions fire that happened here in the harbor a long time ago. It was only four months, said Danielle. That's still a long time, said Danny. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm so sorry to hear that, said Young Bao. Scaredy here has made his own little song about us being leaderless, said Archie. Without our leader, we're pretty much incomplete. Without our leader, we're easy to defeat. It's hopeless. We're finished. Without Harry, we're doomed. Those bad diesels and trucks are sure to scrap us soon. Harry could lead us better than no other truck, said Wally. He helped us all feel brave, said Danny. Without him, we're all scaredy cats. Just then, Yong Bao thought of something and smiled. Well then, it's a good thing I showed up. I beg your pardon, said Archie. I may know a way to bring your friend back. You do? said Danny. Yes, said Yong Bao. It's something we once did back in China. A spell of some sorts. We did it on an engine, but I'm sure it should work on trucks too. What do we need to do? asked Scaredy. Well, there's several things you must find in order to make this work. What do we need to find? You need to find a ladle car of molten slag, a spell book, some relish coal, some joby wood, and some blue slate. Well, okay, that's not a whole lot. Let's go guys, the sooner we find these items, the sooner we can bring back our leader. And the trucks hurried away. But no one knew that Oli had been watching everything. He quietly rolled away to inform his friends. Alright guys, said Dredd, we have some new recruits. This is Horrid Hooky, the evil breakdown crane. An evil breakdown crane? That's new, said Steel Tooth. Yes, I'm a bit surprised myself, said Dredd. Anyways, we've also got a salt fan, some candy cars, and some box cars. 
What are their names? Asked Polar. Uh, actually, they don't have names. Not sure yet if I'm gonna try to give them names. Ha ha ha! We don't have names! Okay. Now then, here's what you need to know about me and being in my army. I used to have 10 trucks in my gang back when I was at the Kingdom of Sodor. But half of them were scrapped and their parts were used to make some good trucks as well as a tank engine. And I recently lost three more of my henchmen. So our goal is to avenge the trucks that used to be in our army and destroy those good trucks. I wanted to say that part. Sorry, Sibrick. Dread, hey Dread, said Oli. What is it, Oli? said Dread. Oli told Dread and the others what he had heard. You're serious, said Dread. I saw what I saw and heard what I heard. You can bring trucks back to life, said Brick. Forget that, said Dread. I'm surprised Harry died. How could I not have known this? That happened four months ago. You know what that means, said Seamster. Yes, it means we must stop them from bringing Harry back. That wasn't what I was thinking. I was thinking we could try to use the same strategy to bring back your friends, Junk, Wreck, and Fungus. That's actually the lowest priority. Harry will be a big threat if he's brought back. Why's that? asked Steel Tooth. Because Harry is the leader. He's what keeps my plans from succeeding. Without him, the trucks can't do anything. We need to take them out before they bring back their leader. Right you are, said Brick. Where did Yong Bao say we could find Chobiwood? asked Rico. A place called Misty Island, and he says there's a tunnel that leads to it at the Sodor Search and Rescue Center, said Archie. Which tunnel do he say? Center? Yep, that's what he said, said Nicholas. So the trucks entered the center tunnel. came out the other end a few minutes later. Wow, there's mist everywhere, said Archie. Ow, be careful, Nicholas, said Rico. Sorry, I can hardly see a thing with all this mist. Not to mention I'm facing backwards. Nicholas, why don't you couple to Rico? That way you won't get separated from us. No sooner were Rico, Nicholas, and Archie out of sight. When Horrid Hooky, Griffin, Pride, Shunter, and a boxcar came out of the tunnel. Well don't just stand there, follow them, said Pride. I can hardly see a thing with all this mess, said Shunter. Hey, watch where you're going. I got this. And Horde Hooky waved his arm back and forth and fanned the mist away. Better? Oh yes, said Shunter. Come on, said Griffin. Let's get them before they get the Joby Wood. Meanwhile, Wally and Sonic were trying to find a spell book. Nearby, Brick was getting ready to attack. Spell book, a spell book. Where are we gonna find a spell book? Freeze! Whoa, watch out! Brick ran over the points, derailed, and crashed into the river. That was close, said Wally. There's gotta be a spellbook around here somewhere. 
Look, there's one right there, said Sonic. If found, please return to Diesel, the Black Wizard. Don't know who he is. I'm sure he won't mind if we borrow his spell book for a while. Come on, let's get this to Young Bao. Come back here! This must be the place, said Mario. So, where should we pick up the blue slate? asked Hector. Oh, anywhere. It doesn't matter. Grab some from over there, said Mario. Are you sure, said Hector? I don't know if we should try to take any from here. Stand clear! Suddenly, a loud explosion rocked the quarry. Rock slide, cried Hector. Let's scram, said Mario. Oh, I got the slate, said Hector. Mario and Hector were nearly out of the quarry when suddenly, stop right there. Look out! cried the gumball car. Come on, let's go. And Mario and Hector slowly pushed through the rubble and made their getaway. Ow. So, where do we pick up some Joby wood? asked Archie. There's a lock jam down there, said Rico. Maybe we can just take a few locks from there. But how do we get them out of there? asked Archie. Hey, there's a breakdown crane coming, said Nicholas. Maybe he could lift and load the locks. Uh oh. What? What is it? He's got company. I can only assume he's with those bad diesels. That's right. Horrid Hookie's the name. Kicking good trucks backside is the game. Run! cried Rico. Whoa! Shaky bridge! Come here! We won't hurt you! At least not a lot! <laughs> Stop bumping into me! Maybe you need to move faster, said Shunter. Guys, come on, said Griffin. The trucks raced over a crossing. As soon as the trucks had rounded the bend, three engines puffed up with a flatbed of locks, and they stopped on the crossing. Well, howdy, strangers. I'm Bash. I'm Dash. And I'm Ferdinand. Yeah, we don't care, said Pride. Get out of our way. But we hardly get visitors. That's right. So what brings you lot here? They're blocked. That's good, said Nicholas. Hey, maybe we can borrow that flatbed of locks. Archie went over and tried to couple up to the flatbed. Move, you hunks of scrap! Well, I... never... Let's go, guys. He was a bit rude. That's right. Uh-oh. Get them! But Shunter started too quickly and biffed into the boxcar. Ow! Okay, that's it. Three strikes and you're out, bud. And the boxcar bumped Shunter off the edge of the Shake Shake Bridge. Shunter hit the lock jam and sent locks flying into the air. I got you, said Horrid Hookie. Hookie, look out, cried Pride. That's 
horrid hoogie to you. Ouch! Some of the locks landed on a nearby flatbed. I'll take that, said Rico. Let's get out of here, said Archie. It's a good thing you knew where the steelworks was, Wallace. Now we've got our little carved molten slab, said Chester. There they are. Get them, said Steel Chief. What? Oh no, cried Wallace. What do they want, said Chester. Steel Tooth and Sinister chased Wallace and Chester towards a junction. Wallace and Chester raced through as fast as they could. Suddenly out of nowhere came Nicholas and he crashed into Steel Tooth without even knowing it. Whoa! Perfect timing, Nicholas, said Wallace. Now let's get out of here. Um, okay, said Nicholas. Hey, is that Steel Tooth? Nah, 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 nah. Urgh. Okay, said Archie. We got the molten slag, the Joby wood, and as far as I know, the other trucks have gotten the blue slate and the spell book. I feel like we're forgetting something. Was it the Welsh coal? asked Chester. Oh, that's right, said Archie. Don't worry, said Wallace. Scare the and the others are in charge of that. What are we looking for again? asked Carl. Coal, said Danny. Right is carrying coal, said Carl. It has to be Wellish coal, said Scaredy. And where can we find that? asked Carl. We don't know, said Danielle. Ha ha ha, there they are. Let's make our new boss proud. <laughs> uh, what do I say? Oh yeah, get them! <laughs> oh no, run! cried Scaredy. <laughs> the trucks sped down on the tracks until they saw an old junction up ahead. This way, said Scaredy. The trucks disappeared through the trees just before the bat trucks arrived. This way, quickly. I think we lost them, said Scaredy. Hello? Who's there? Who said that, said Carl. There's someone down this line, said Danny. Let's check it out. But what if it's more bad trucks? We should go back. But what if those other trucks are still there, asked Riot. Come on, let's see who's there, said Danielle. Uh, okay, maybe just a peek. So the trucks moved slowly forward, and soon they saw five trucks staring back at them. One was a slate car that was shorter in length than Danny and Danielle, and a little bit taller. There was a tiny coal car, a gray truck that was the same kind of truck as Harry. There was also an orange ballast car and a tar tanker with fangs. Whoa, hello there. Um, hello there. What are your names, said the tar tanker. First tell us yours, said Scaredy briefly. I'm Tiny. I'm Lucy. 
I'm Fang. I'm Chris, and he's Bouncer. Well, um, I'm Sturdy. This is Danielle, Danny, Carl, and Riot. But now answer this. Friends or foes? Depends on which side you're on, said Lucy. We're good trucks, said Danny. And you? We're good too, said Chris. Well, we used to be bad, but not anymore. Tiny, I thought we agreed never to say that. Who did you work for? asked Carl. Well, we worked for a truck named Dread. Dread? Yes, we only worked for him for a while, but after causing a few accidents, we decided this was not what we wanted to do, so we told the Sodor engines to hide us away and say we were scrapped to Dread. So you're the half of Dread's gang that were supposedly scrapped and used to make some of the good trucks as well as the tank engine, but you really weren't scrapped. Yes, we weren't scrapped. We've been here ever since, but we may have made the wrong choice to say we were scrapped. We heard about the damage Dredd and his other friends did to the kingdom. It may not have been such a good idea to rebel. Nonsense, said Carl. It was a great idea. You just can't always control the reactions. But enough of our story. What are you five doing here? We're looking for Wellish Coal, said Danny. Know where we could find some? There's some in that coal hopper right there, said Chris. Take as much as you need. So Riot emptied the coal he was carrying and filled up with Wellish coal. Well, uh, thanks, said Scaredy. We should be going now, said Danielle. If you need any more help, just let us know, said Tiny. I don't think we'll be requiring your services anytime soon, said Riot. Scaredy and his friends returned to the harbor, where Yong Bao and the other trucks were waiting. Is it me, or is this place a little less messy? Asked Carl. I did a little bit of spring cleaning while you guys were out, said Yong Bao. Now then, do we have everything that we need? Yes, yes we do, said Nicholas. Okay then, now first I'll need the spell book, said Yong Bao. Smoke bomb! What the? Suddenly, Horrid Hoogie threw a smoke bomb and smoke went everywhere. When the smoke cleared, the slack wagon, the spell bulk, the Joby Wood, Hector, and Riot were all gone. What? Where'd everything go? This can't be happening! Well, isn't this sad? You again, said Scaredy. You know these guys, said Wallace. We met them when we got the coal, said Danielle. They used to work for Dread, said Danny. Oh, is that so, said Mario. Used to work for Dread. We're on your side now, said Lucy. And to prove it, we'll help you get back all your stolen ingredients, said Tiny. Yeah, we saw where they took them, said Chris. Why should we trust trucks that worked for Dread for even five minutes, said Wallace. 
working for a villain has its advantages. We know all of Dredd's old hideouts and lairs. You want to try to find them yourselves? At the old abandoned castle of Olfstead, the trucks and diesels were plodding. Hector and Ryan had been thrown off the tracks, and the slate and coal had been loaded into some other cars. Once Sinister and Brick hide the things away, we'll start making our next plans for the good trucks, said Dredd. Ha ha ha, hey Dredd. The trucks are coming up the slope, and there's an engine with them too, and I think... Quickly, said Dredd, prepare your battle stations. Okay Dredd, we hit the items, said Sinister. What? No you didn't. You just put them on a bridge. Well, the only tunnel was taken, said Brick. Sorry. Whatever. Sinister, you get out there and guard the entrance. Okay, boss. Okay, they're expecting us to show up, said Chester. Can one of you guys go up there and help get rid of that tanker? Leave this to me, said Lucy. Halt! I'm here for an important meeting. Who are you here to see? I'm here to see your backside. Is that last name backside, first name yours? Oh my gosh! Good one, Lucy, said Bouncer. I think we should split up and search the castle, said Mario. We'll distract the villains. You go find your friends and items, said Fang. Let's move, said Wally. Hello? Is anyone here? asked Tiny. Yes, hello, said Brick. I thought you were one of those good trucks. Hello, Brick. Well, isn't this a surprise? My old friends. Not anymore, said Tiny. What do you mean, not anymore? Ha ha ha, they're not your friends anymore. Will you stop it with that ha 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 thing? It's very annoying and kind of creepy. Ha ha, sorry. Do you see anything, said Rico. I'm looking, I'm looking. There, over there. Security, Rico, said Hector. Don't worry, said Rico. We'll get you guys back on the tracks. Hello, Hector, Riot, you in here? Ah, faceless truck, faceless truck, where? Come on, Wallace, come on, Archie, move, said Chris. Well, 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 it looks like we've got some intruders. Wait, who are you? Your worst nightmare. And Chris bumped Steel Tooth so hard he flew off the tracks and hit the tunnel. What's going on out there? Why must you and Dread be the monsters that you are? Because we thought you guys were scrapped. We were trying to avenge you. I think he meant before we disappeared. Why were you troublesome from the start? Because we did not get the respect we deserve. There. That should do it. Now let's go find those items, said Rico. Hold it right there, said Bowler. Back off, you two. There's four of us and only two of you. 
Oh, really? Uh-oh. They've got us surrounded, said Rico. Watch out, cried Yong Bao. Huh? Oh! Oh! Whoa! Look out! Oh! Ow! That was amazing, said Riot. What was? Aw oh, man, did I miss it? Scaredy went over to the tunnel and noticed a talisman. Ooh, shiny. Here's your slack, spellbook, coal, slate, and joby boy, said Bouncer. Ugh, these are really heavy. Not so easy when the brakes are on. Wait, Bouncer? How? I thought... You thought wrong, my enemy. Alright, that's it. I'm gonna... Oh! Have you guys seen a faceless truck anywhere? Okay, the brakes are off. Now push! Stop them, said Wrench. Ah! cried Bolt. The truck and Yong Bao sped towards the exit. Scaredy, let's go! cried Sonic. Coming, said Scaredy. Take my stuff, will you? You'll regret that. Once I can get moving, you're gonna be so sorry. Hey, what do you two think you're- Ah! Danny, Danielle, Chester, Lucy, Wally, Carl, Tiny, and Fang raced out of the castle. The other trucks were nearly to the exit when the remaining villains blocked the crossing. Suddenly, Scaredy's talisman started to glow, and a nearby crane swung around and grabbed Oli's front coupling. And the first three villains were pulled forward and thrown right off the track. Whoa! The caramel car's front wheels were off the track, but the other villains didn't know this. They tried to move forward to block the crossing again, but they derailed and they tumbled down the slope. Ha ha ha, why are we tumbled together? Ah! Oh! Ow! Hey, now I can't get out. What just happened? Axe Bouncer. Yeah, what did just happen? Sorry, I have my eyes closed. Um, never mind that, says Scaredy. Let's go. And the heroes raced away out of the castle. Young Bao and the truck soon reached a place where they could use the ingredients and bring Harry back to life. Alright. We're back, and we've got everything. Are we ready to do this? Asked Carl. Yes, now we're ready, said Yong Bao. First, the Wellish Coal. Wellish Coal. Check, said Scaredy. Next, the Slate. Careful. There, said Hector. Blue Mountain Quarry Slate, check. What's next? Next up, the Joby Wood, said Yong Bao. Joby Wood, check, said Wallace. Okay, let's see. Here we go. And now with the power of all I command, Harry be revived, and before me, stand.
The ladle car began to boil. Then it started to shudder and shake. Everybody get back. It's going to blow, said Dong Bao. Wait, what? It's going to blow? Yong Bao and the trucks quickly moved a safe distance away. Suddenly, the slack wagon exploded with a thunderous bang. When the smoke cleared, the slack wagon was gone. The other trucks had been thrown off the tracks. The rails were still intact, and the trucks could see a blue truck laying upside down. Did it work? asked Mario. Um, Harry? Are you okay? asked Danny. One of Harry's wheels started turning. Then, he turned right side up and opened his eyes. Hey guys, what's going on? He's alive! Harry, you're okay. I'm alive? I'm alive! I'm back! Oh, happy day, said Carl. I can't believe it. You guys revived me. Well, we couldn't have done it without Yong Bao here, said Hector. Nice to meet you, Yong Bao, said Harry. Wait, who are those trucks? Oh, well, these trucks used to work for Dread, but they left his side, said Riot. They're the trucks that Dread thought were scrapped, said Wallace. Oh, I see, said Harry. Trucks, are you okay, said Connor. We heard an explosion. Wait, who's this engine? Harry? This is Yong Bao, said Rico. He was passing through, and he stopped to help us bring Harry back. Oh, really, said Caitlin. And so did those trucks over there, said Mario. Just wanted to help, said Yong Bao. Same here, said Chris. Thank you so much, Yong Bao, and you five trucks. Yes, thank you. Thank you, said Harry. Thank you, shouted everyone. You're very welcome, said Yong Bao. Is there anything we can do in return, said Wally. We would like a new home, said Bouncer. That can be arranged, said Caitlin. And I need directions back to China, said Yong Bao. I can help with that, said Connor. While the trucks were overjoyed that Harry was back, Dredd and his friends were not. When will my bad luck end, asked Dredd. Oh, I'm sure it's just a matter of time, said Fungus. Yeah, well, wait, fungus, wreck, junk, how did, oh, Oli and I were able to do the same thing the trucks did to bring back Harry, we used a slack wagon, joby wood, lush coal, blue slate, and a spell, and now your old friends are back, said Spankan. Oh. I don't know what to say, said Dread. Just say you've got some new evil plans, said Junk. Uh, n well, not yet, but I'll start scheming now. The next day, Yong Bao was ready to go home. Thanks again for all your help, Yong Bao, said Archie. No problem at all, said Yong Bao. Well, I'm off. Goodbye, said the trucks. After Yong Bao left, Connor spoke up. We're glad you're back, Harry, he said. 
but during the last four months, the workload has kind of become a little too much. So we're bringing a new steam engine to help out. But please do your best to avoid any disturbances. What does that mean? asked Carl. That means that this steam engine is difficult, said Archie. The engine was Vinny, an engine who had visited Sodor and had bullied several engines. But after challenging the Flying Scotsman, Vinny had had an accident and had been sent away after that. Huh, somewhat impressive, said Vinny. At least there's no dirty, smelly diesels. Then, Vinny saw some of the trucks. Suddenly, he had a flashback. His accident had been caused by some troublesome trucks that he had bumped. Now, he had a newfound fear of trucks with faces. Howdy, Truckaroo. What? Truckaroo. You know, truck and buckaroo mush together. I think he's surprised because he can't see your face. Oh, my face is back here. Hello, what's your name? Ah! What's his problem? I just asked him what his name is. Vinny is a little afraid of trucks. At least that's what Flying Scotsman told me. Well, we can't have an engine be afraid of us, said Wally. We'll show him he's got nothing to fear. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. Hi there, Vinny. No, 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 wait, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? Oh! Oh, that's just great. Hello, Vinny. Oh. Ahoy there, Vinny! Oh. Hey, Vinny, what's happening? But no matter how nice and friendly the trucks were, Vinny always stayed clear of them. We can't just smile and expect him to like us, said Harry. We should do something to help him. But what? asked Carl. Later that day, Vinny was sent to pick up a goods train on the other side of the kingdom. Wally, Archie, Harry, and Chester were resting at the main station. You know, I can't help but wonder, why is Vinny going to the other side of the kingdom? I mean, I was there earlier today and there are no trains for him to pick up, said Archie. Just then, Chester heard something. Did you tell Vinny to go pick up the train? Yep, said Horrid Hookie. He should be collecting it right now. Perfect. All according to plan. Uh-oh, said Chester. Guys, I just heard... But before Chester could finish, Vinny came racing through the station. Help! Help! I can't stop! They're pushing me! Harry, did you see who was on that train? At the back? Quickly, we must save him before he has an accident. And the trucks raced away to the nearest turntable. Down the line, Mario and Nicholas were singing with some of the other trucks. 96 troublesome trucks in the yard. 96 troublesome trucks. 
If one of those trucks should get bumped real hard. 95 troublesome trucks in the yard. 95 troublesome trucks in the yard. 95 troublesome trucks. If one of those trucks should get bumped real hard. 94 troublesome trucks in the yard. Ha ha ha. Woo. <sighs> What's on your mind, Mario? Oh, you know, the usual. Sleeping? No, the other usual. You know, my old friends Thomas and Frankie. I see, said Nicholas. And you know what else I see? What? asked Mario. Help! Somebody help! Oh, that? Yep. I'll stop him, said Scaredy. Scaredy! Are you nuts? We better help him, said Mario. Don't worry, Benny. We've got you, said Nicholas. Oh, please help me, you guys, said Benny. I didn't do anything, and these trucks are pushing me. Not to worry, we'll help you stop. Mario, ready to break? Ready, said Mario. The two trucks and Vinny tried braking, but they just kept rolling along. It's not working. These are some determined trucks. Just then, Harry and the other trucks arrived. Harry and Chester came up behind the brake van. Sorry to keep you waiting, said Archie, but you know what they say, better late than never. Shouldn't we try to stay focused here, said Wally. Uh, right, said Archie. Now how can we... Whoa! The runaway train had switched onto a different line and was going over a crossing. Wally and Archie had to slam on their brakes to avoid crashing. Uh-oh, Mario, where are we going? Snoring, snoring, Mario! Oh, uh, we're heading towards the factory where trucks and engines are made. We have to stop this train before we all crash into it. The train screeched loudly as they approached the factory. It was clear that there weren't going to be enough brakes to stop the train. They only had one more bend, and then there was a long straightaway towards the factory. Keep trying, we're getting closer, said Mario. The trucks neared the next switch. Suddenly, out of nowhere came Yong Bao. No one is crashing into a factory today or any other day. And with Yong Bao's help, Vinny and his train came to a stop just a few inches from the buffers in front of the factory. Phew, we did it, said Nicholas. Good work everyone, said Harry. Thank you. Everyone, said Vinny. Just then, Wally and Archie pulled up. Aha, said Wally. I knew it. It was Fungus. I can only assume that Dredd and his friends brought you back along with Junk and Wreck. Yeah, and we would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you meddling trucks in that stupid engine. Young Bao, what are you doing back here? asked Mario. Well, I forgot my dragon, said Young Bao. Oh right, that paper dragon you brought with you. I thought I saw it in a signing at the main station. Alright you lot, said Harry. Beat it. And Fungus and the trucks hurried away. Ha ha ha, we failed. Shut up. 
Thanks again for helping me, said Finny. Now I know I can trust you guys. Yong Bao collected his dragon and left once again. And all was well in the mainland kingdom.